up guys, I'm Alex. I'm Jason, we're the Table Monkeys, and today we are gonna talk about dealing with people that like to carve in or start with a bent wrist or, uh, you know, just people that are committed to coming inside. Yeah, you know they're going inside for a press and you don't want to go in there with them. Yeah. You want to top roll, you want to post. And in the setup, if they're able, you know, you can bitch at the ref and ask him to turn it out, turn it out, turn it out, but it doesn't usually happen. There's only so much you can yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. So a lot of the time you have to uh, fight for yourself and that you'll hear Devin talk about this a lot you know oh you don't want to you don't like me because I like to fight for things mm -hmm. he's trying to fight for what he needs in the setup or take away what his opponent wants or needs exactly in the setup people right? think that the fight starts once the go happens and that's that's gonna be further from the truth yeah the fight starts before you even steps to the table yeah we at sometimes you don't even know like Devin yeah. makes that comment all the time too when did this actually start like <laughs> at what point did this you know confrontation start to build up you yeah know? but the most important fight is in yeah. the setup for getting sure. what you want so you so you can access all the strengths that you need to to fight with once the go happens or taking away what your opponent wants if you know your opponent's got an ace move and he really needs something sometimes more effective than getting what you want is making sure he can't get what he wants right right so in this scenario we're talking about somebody you want to carve yeah i'll carve okay so alex is wants to come in carved in and when he gets his grip he's gonna grab me low and he's gonna basically be taking my pronation I remember getting stuck like this a lot in setups and, and waiting going okay the ref's gonna turn us out and the ref might tell him to take his wrist and he might get to here but I still feel like I want to be like all the way over here mm -hmm. to feel straight because I want I want to be straight outside because I want to be able to pull into his fingers but he's got me down like this and he's strong he's stiff and I, I feel like shit if I want to if I try to roll him out this way it's a lot of energy it's gonna take a lot of bicep and because he's especially like Evan Burgoyne's great at this of getting himself so anchored here like that when I go to roll him out I'm, I'm rolling like against his body and his shoulder almost mm -hmm. because he's so dug in I've got my frame attached to it and he's just trying to use muscles right so what I want to do in this situation the, the person that taught this to me was Rick Heidebrecht so we're gonna call this the Rick rise <laughs> okay because what you're doing is I'm gonna rise into my opponent's hand with my wrist by pushing my frame forward I'm not using back pressure or, or musculature to try to pull myself out of this position I'm pushing up into his hand now Rick being six seven and with a giant arm he can do this from way back on the mm -hmm. pad and just kind of work your hand like this which is what he did to Curtis yep. at BAL 204 Curtis wants this kind of a setup he wants to come in and so what Rick does is he just works his hand and every time that I do this and Alex has got it he wants to reset and gets me back down like this and then I roll him out again a few times doing that his forearm's gonna get pumped up exactly. his hands gonna start to blow up and we haven't even said go yet and he's not he's trying to not use musculature he's trying to use his his uh, forearm height he's trying to use his frame My frame exactly yeah, to gain height and I'm trying to hold him in with cup and fingers right so I'm burning up and he's not so yeah. once the go happens my fingers are already gone it's so much easier for you to roll me or what's going to happen and this is what happened to me the second time i went against evan i used this technique and by round two evan stopped fighting for that he let me he let us start here you know because he knew he could drive in but he didn't want to fight and fight and fight for this because he knew he was going to need that force once we got into the match yeah and that's that's a huge part again is learning how to fight in the setup right so either he'll stop fighting or it'll go to ref script and then you should get a fair set of them or he'll just keep fighting and you'll burn him out now Devin talks about this one with push card right mm -hmm. so he says that you don't see it because it's edited out yeah they cut out all the setup because it's better for, for TV I guess but there was like minutes minutes of setup of Devin just working push cars hand working push cars hand and you think about push guard he's that very very stiff like he gets what he wants and he's just gonna hold on to it for everything he's got and Devin was able to work him out and he says that he tired him out in the setups of round one and two it wasn't really the pulling it was by the end of the setup of round two push car was basically exhausted yeah we see we saw how push car dealt with Devin in round one just flashed right to the pad but then about by round two once Devin got the stop yeah burned him out completely in that round and then it was basically over and and the point is that the majority of that exhaustion came from the setup it didn't actually come in the pulls so when you go against somebody in practice or especially in a tournament who's really rigid and really wants to carve in on you Try to use this technique where you use your frame, not your musculature, to pull him out of position, make him reset, and let him reset. Let him take it again, and then pull it out. And then let him take it again, and then take it away. And every time you do that, he's gonna get more tired, and if you do it correctly, you shouldn't really be using too much of your own musculature, so you're gonna not feel fatigued from it, right? Yeah, exactly. 
So, so that's the video. Please try that out in uh, your next table practice. Let us know if it works. Yeah, and uh, leave us some feedback in the comments below. Subscribe, Share. smash that bell button, do the sharings. And monkeys out. Peace.